Crawford's time has arrived. It's here. It's time for him to take full advantage of it, and I expect him to do that. I think he's going to take out his frustrations on Sean Porter, his frustrations on how his career has gone to this point, not being able to get shots against uh, bigger name opponents at 147. Some of that is to his detriment. Um, probably should not have signed another deal with top rank. Hopefully he doesn't make that mistake again after this fight in November. Hopefully he goes on a fight-by-fight -fight basis. We'll get on that in a minute. But I fully expect him to take out his frustrations on Sean Porter. His time has arrived. This is Terrence Crawford's time to put a name on his resume, a big name on his resume. His time to have that, because we've always discussed, right? Um, we're going off potential. He seems like pound for pound, the best fighter in the world, right? That's what the eye test tells many of us. Like this, this is the best guy, pound for pound. The eye test. But you can't just go off the eye test. The resume has to start to match that. The eye test can be deceiving if you haven't faced those big name opponents throughout your career. Uh, yes, he unified and became undisputed at 140, but the big name still isn't there. Yes, he beat Gamboa. The big name still isn't there at 147. And Sean Porter is going to start to get him that. Sean Porter is going to give him that big name. And then hopefully he catapults that into another big name, another big name. And... He can get his career going to where the resume now matches the eye test. And we can definitively say this is the best pound for pound fighter in the world. Because right now that's Canelo. Because we've seen the fight, we've seen the talent of Canelo. We can identify it. That's a pound for pound talent in Canelo. And then the resume matches it. Right? Because Canelo's a big name. Guys are willing to come to the table. Canelo's willing to give up millions to get these guys in the ring. I mean, Caleb Plant's getting. Nine to ten million for this fight. Billy Joe Saunders got eight million. Uh, Floyd Mayweather was not that generous with his B side. Canelo is aggressive in going for legacy, and because of that, he is the king of boxing right now, pound for pound. For Terence Crawford to be able to do that, um, he has to make he he not only has to make a statement here against Sean Porter. He can't just win the fight. He has to make a statement, which I fully expect him to do. But after that, he has to be smart business-wise. Become a free agent like Devin Haney right now. Go at it one fight by one fight by one fight. Canelo Alvarez, same thing. Free agent. He can go one fight by one fight by one fight, work with different promoters. And in doing that, it's easier to, for you to get these fights with bigger name opponents. It's easier for you to go uh, say, I'm going to go over here to PBC in this fight. Get a fight, at, uh, sign with PBC for a fight, get a fight with another fighter uh, of the PBC at 147. Possibly move up to 154, maybe fight at Danny Garcia. Uh, possibly go up to middleweight two years from now. But in doing that, you can work with different promoters uh, for each fight. Or you can sign a two to three fight deal with a promoter uh, if they promise you the right fights and you know they can deliver those fights financially for you. So this is the time for Terrence Crawford to his for his career to go this way, the trajectory to go that way, because it's been a flat line for a while now. It's been a flat line. We know the talent's there. We know there is not a fighter on earth in and around 147 that's going to be favored against this guy, even Errol Spence Jr. He Terrence Crawford is going to be the favorite in most instances, the heavy favorite. So it's time for him to hell or, come hell or high water, get these names on his resume. But it starts with Sean Porter next month. And he needs to make a statement in this fight. Make a statement. Take out your frustrations on Sean Porter. Um, and that's nothing against Sean Porter because I got a lot of respect for him. But levels, right? Terrence Crawford seems to be a level above everybody else at 147. Even these other top guys. So it's time for him to prove that. And the fun thing about Crawford is he's willing to mix it up in the ring as well. He almost, when, when you watch him fight, it's almost like as if he likes getting hit. That way he can say, okay, okay. And then you, and then you see the dog come out of him. And I fully expect that against Sean Porter, that Porter's going to have his moments early in the fight. And then Crawford's just going to unleash on him. Much like what we saw with Gamboa. 
years ago. This is almost like another Gamboa fight for him. To where he, he wants to make a statement. He wants to show that he's the best fighter in the world. And I think that's what's going to happen here. But it's his time. It's his time now. You got to get it going. 35 years old. And the Porter, the, the, the fight has finally arrived for him to get a name on his resume. It's going to be Sean Porter. And I think it's going to be a good night for Terrence Crawford. And hopefully that continues throughout his career after that. Let me know what y'all think about Terrence Crawford and the fight in general with, with uh, Sean Porter. Peace. God bless.